What's up? This is Q&A with Travis Brady. So I like to answer uh, common questions that people have asked me over the years or have recently asked me. And so this is a common question that I uh, have gotten a lot over the years. And the question is, I'm getting in the coaching or personal training. Uh, I don't feel qualified unless I get my certificate. I've been training, wanting to do this for years. I'm having a hard time deciding what certificate or training I should go through. Can you help me out? What should I do, right? Common question. And I like to share um, my experience. You know, when I first started in the coaching industry, I was 19. I've been doing this for collectively over 16 years, going on 17 years now. And um, that was my belief too. It, before I started into, I first started as in personal training, it evolved into nutrition coaching and then to transformation coaching. And then it evolved into helping people build their personal training. And then what I really noticed about their business is they just didn't have a concrete brand. And so what we do is we help tell people stories, tell their story brand, facts tell, stories sell, and build out their, their marketing, their services, and bring everything together in fluid to help them become next gen. That's our main message. Anyways, going back to the first part, when I was 19, I remember following all the trainers around the gym. So what kind of cert do you need? Do I need? Where should I get it? Right. And everyone um, always recommended to me NASM, National Academy of Sports Medicine. Um, but Prior to that, I thought that you needed a PhD, you need to have all this experience uh, working with all these people, be super ripped, super yoked in order to just apply for a job, right? Okay. I felt like I had to have all these things in order to like really become a trainer. And and being a trainer, over time, I thought that sooner or later I would become a great trainer. Okay. And I feel like that's where everyone else seems to go. I have to have something. And as soon as I have this certificate, then I can do it. And then if I do it long enough, and if I have more certificates, then I need to have more certificates and more training. Then I need to do more of it. And then I can finally believe in this is the cycle that I tend, I tend to uh, go through early on in my training. Okay, I didn't believe I was good enough until I had more initials after my last name of all the certs I've been through than my actual name, right? And although I do recommend uh, a training program and a certificate program. We actually are going to be releasing a free one here in the next month, so stay tuned. Uh, it could already be out if you're watching this video, so check the link below. It's not for everyone, um, but check it out. It may be something you're interested in. So, however, going back to the original thought, there's gonna be no piece of paper in the world that's gonna change your belief about yourself. It'll help. The car will help you feel more confident. The house will make you feel more like a baller, right? Your girlfriend might make you feel more love, but having anything is not going to change the belief. And so that's the, that's the, that's the bullshit that we tend to get bought into is that, as I have to have something in order to be something, but it's not even that we have to have it. We have to do it. We have to have more of it. Right. And then in one moment in time, what ends up happening is we finally give ourselves permission to believe it. And so the answer is yes, you do need a certificate and you should constantly be increasing your knowledge and increasing your ability to get results for your clients. However, the certificate, the picture that says I'm awesome is not going to overcome the belief about yourself. Okay, just like the car is not going to all of a sudden make the guy confident, dropping the weight on the girl is not all going to make all of a sudden make sure her feel sexy all of a sudden. And that's the trap that we all get caught into. That's the trap that they try to sell you. You have to have it in order to be it. Okay, where you need to begin is with a powerful testimony. Okay. And what's a testimony? A testimony is what you believe is certain, what you believe without a doubt. So if you're going into personal training, you need to have a testimony and an experience 
of what you've actually went through and have seen the transformation. And so it becomes, your business becomes an example to others rather than, hey, see this certificate? It's pretty awesome. I know my shit. You better shut up and listen. And so when I first began my journey, I think getting these certificates and getting my bachelor's degree was more of just feeding my ego versus feeding other people. Okay. And I feel like that's one of the main reasons why we go into coaching at first for a lot of people, which I fully admit mine was too, is to feed my ego, feel significant, feel cool. And then over time, what you realize is that that mindset, that way of being in, in feeding the ego, it's never enough. And it's like this monster inside of you that keeps wanting more and more and more. So where it starts or where it should, should start is having a powerful testimony for what you've experienced. Okay. So I'd start there. And so the answer is yes, you do want a certificate and I would just constantly do your research. So our certification is to help people rewire their mindset because essentially what it comes down to is whatever someone believes they do, whatever they do, they have. So if our beliefs and our actions aren't in alignment, then we're not going to experience the results. However, the certifications, they don't teach you that. They teach you, here's how much you need to eat. Here's the way you need to think. Here's what you need to do. And it's absolutely powerful. However, whatever that person believes is totally going to impact their actions. Their actions are going to impact the results. So true transformation comes from when the mind and body is in alignment. Okay. Powerful. Okay. Psychology with powerful actions. Okay. Behaviors and thinking are those in aligned. And so the certification is meant for anyone in any type of coaching or any type of leadership position to really gain the core foundational tools to help really someone utterly transform who they are starting from the inside out. Okay. So if that's you check out the link below, I know that it will help you again. It's not for everyone. Okay. So I ain't going to sell you the, the bullshit story that everyone can be successful. Everyone's going to do it. Okay. If you believe that everyone gets a participation trophy, then I promise you the certification isn't for you. However, if you believe that success is meant for the people willing to do the actions, okay. And follow through, then it absolutely is. Okay. So check out the link below. If you believe what I believe, uh, then it'll be great for you. If you don't, okay. No hard feelings. I wish you good luck on all that you're doing. Okay. And always constantly be inspired in what you're doing. Be next gen, be unique, be different. And I truly believe that the world needs you. Good talk.